Hello everyone, Lunar here, back with another guide video. While I've been playing through the Lords of the Fallen and making guides for the game's side quests, Lords of the Fallen is incredibly complicated and every side quest is missable and they are also tied to the game's different endings. But each side quest also has unique rewards including weapons, armors and other gear that you can't get any other way. Plus there are trophies and achievements tied to these side quests so they're all worth doing. But each are very easy to miss. If you miss one stage, then of course you cannot go back because there's no way to reload your save. In this video then, we're going over the side quest called Moving On, which involves helping out Byron and Winterberry. It's not the first side quest you start, but it is the first one you can finish in game. Let's take a look at how to do the mission. First, you simply need to talk to Byron when you encounter him. You will first come across him at Pilgrim's Perch in front of the Vestige of Blind Agatha, at this point, he will not formally introduce himself, but you just have to make sure you exhaust all of his dialogue options. In fact, for every NPC, make sure you exhaust all the dialogue options. Simply continue on with the story until you reach Forsaken Fen. Once you reach Forsaken Fen and activate the Vestige of Valade, you will find Byron standing next to it. Again, you can speak with him. After a long journey from Forsaken Fen, you will encounter an angry Byron at Sunless Skian next to the Vestige of Katrin. He explains that the Vestige marks where Katrin fell, who was once a lampbearer and his lover, and Byron shares a piece of his life, the time when he and Katrin were once Hallowed Sentinels and fell in love. A love between the Hallowed Sentinels is forbidden, so when the Order found out about their relationship, they paid for it with their lives. But it was only Katrin's heart that had stopped, but not for long because of the Umbral Lamp, and Katrin was able to live life as a lamp bearer for a little while, and eventually she stopped coming back to the realm of the living. And the vestige here marks the spot where she died. After he tells you all this, he will eventually ask you to report back to him if you find any trace of a missing pendant that belonged to Katrin, and he will give you the bemoaning gesture as well. So at this point in the quest, it's up to you to find the pendant. Make your way through the game until you reach this area here called the Cistern, just after you find the Sunless Skian Key. This is the large area with stairs going left and right, and in the middle it's filled with water. You can explore the area left, down the stairs, and you can open up all the shortcuts. But it's right that you want to do up the stairs, where you will fight the Skin Stealer. After he is defeated, he drops the drainage control key, and it's very important here that you do not enter the lift that is behind the skin stealer. This will make you fail the entire side quest. That's because the lift is a trigger for Byron to move to his next location, and if you don't inform him about the pendant before you do this, then you won't be able to complete the quest. So the pendant is actually found on another NPC called Winterberry and she is found in the Revelation Depths, which is an area that you get to once you've drained the water. So now you've defeated the Skin Stealer and you have the Drainage Control Key, you can go exactly where I go to, to drain the water, and then you can go from where I go to find Winterberry, and it's quite a long journey from here into the depths in order to find her.
Winterberry, you're my first customer today. So now you've spoken to Winterberry and you can also get a rebirth chrysalis from her as well, which is good. You can travel back to Byron and inform him about the pendant's whereabouts. Travel back to the cistern and now you can take the elevator up and this will trigger both Byron and Winterberry to move to Skyrest Bridge. Now if you've taken the elevator before informing Byron of Winterberry's true intentions or before locating Winterberry at all, then Byron will move to the upper Calrath near the vestige of the Forgotten, which is the one at the top of the elevator. And Winterberry, she will simply disappear from the world, leaving behind a bloodied backpack and what happens is that Byron will end up killing Winterberry thinking that she's a monster and then you can either choose to not reveal the truth to Byron or you can reveal the truth to Byron if you want but either way Byron will disappear from the game leaving behind his shovel and Catherine's pendant as a reward but you will have failed the side mission overall however if you've done things right and you've spoke to Winterberry and gone into the elevator then both of them should now be at Skyrest Bridge To find them, they'll be inside the secret area where you freed the torture prisoner. I have another video on that, so you could check that out. But you could talk with them to get the Umbral Eye of Earth Egg as a reward. This gives you a 30% chance increase in getting rewards when you're in Umbral. And at this point, you will also unlock your achievement or trophy. Talk with Winterberry as well, then head back and reset the area and return to speak to Winterberry and her inventory will expand. And you can now buy Byron's shovel, Byron's armor set and a unique ring as well. The only thing you don't get in this version of the side mission is Catrin's pendant as Winterberry will keep it for herself. But at this point you will have completed the side quest for Byron and Winterberry. 
Guys, I'm working through the side missions in Lord of the Fallen. It's incredibly confusing, and so hopefully I don't miss anything. I do know of one side mission that I can't complete, but I will still go over it. But hopefully I don't miss any other ones, as you can't reload the saves. But I'm going to try to cover all of the side quests for you guys, so like and subscribe if you want to see more quest guides for the game, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.